Okay, so you want to buy a camper. Well, you're not the only one. I have wanted a camper for I don't know how long, and I never thought it would be possible. But here we are, and we bought a brand new 2021 Draco JFlight LX 184 BS. And no, that doesn't mean what you think. It means it has a bunk and a slide right here. So before we get started, I'm going to put down all of the specs right here on the photo. So you can see uh, what exactly uh, this camper offers and for the amount of money and the amount of size you will be quite surprised <laughs> Oh my gosh, you want to hear something crazy? I went all the way back here, started editing my video, sorry, and I spent 16 minutes talking on a file and for some reason or another, the whole file was completely corrupt. 16 whole minutes of me talking about the camper. Oh, I'm not happy. Alright guys, so we're out here again. We are at another campground and I am so happy to be out here. I'm like 20 minutes from my house. So we have a truck and old JJ right here. Our 2021 20, Jayco J Flight SLX. 
one at four BS with an awning slide out slipping for five to six spare on the back I got my serves protector in there I got all my holes run and uh, yeah we are having a beautiful night I got my water filter on there and uh, yeah we are having a great time so while we're here tomorrow I kind of want to go over with you why I thought this one would be the best for the amount of people we have, number one, but number two, um, the, the ease, the, the towability, being able to pull that camper with that truck and have it be nowhere near the towing uh, max. So, it's kind of why I picked what I picked. Um, short, sweet, easy to drive, pull, maneuver. I'm going to get the weight hitch on the trailer uh, and truck tomorrow, hopefully. And, uh, yeah, we're out here, and we're going to enjoy the night, the fire, the food, the family, and so have a great time out here. There's like maybe, I don't know, maybe five or six people out here. Quiet, just enjoy the night. I think the low is gonna be like 40 maybe. And uh, the high like 70-ish. So um, perfect camping weather. Uh, I, I couldn't be happier with uh, where we're at. So, yeah, time to eat. Burning good. Burning good. He did not even see that other DOD. I know, I'm glad. Yeah. Some burgers, sausage, whoo, look at them burgers. Come on, baby. Woo! Right on the hot fire. So now we're gonna cut the cheese. <laughs> Okay, good. My wife and daughter are finally here. So that makes me happy. Happy, happy, happy. Sweet. Camp food, baby. Well, good morning, fam. 
It's time for breakfast. Sausage, bacon, and eggs. So, I'm gonna pull out the cutting board. When we get back, I'll kind of go through a, a rundown of where I have things in the camper. But first, got my dog hair off the table. Good morning, buddy. Good morning, buddy.
Okay, so something that you're gonna wanna do. Come here. I bought some tape. That right there is not gonna be enough. Um, when I put my foot here, I slip quite bad. And, and I don't want my dog getting his claws caught. So, before dinner, I bought some 80 grits, um, tape. If I can figure out how to get the paper off, screwdriver, I'll get right in there, like so. Oh yeah. So, I'll get it out and get a length here. From there to about there. I don't have any scissors, so it's gonna have to work. So then I'll pull that end off and kinda rub that flush. Or hot thawed. Okay, so if you have scissors, that'd be a whole lot better. But, so I'm gonna put one right here on those. Right there. Run my hand over that. Good. And then I'll do that for up here also. Try to rub it straight. Normally, um, I don't wear my shoes or any kind of footwear inside the camper. So, when I come out here with my socks on, or Cola comes out here, he slips. I might come in here with a, a knife and, and cut here and then out here and then trim, trim back, so, yep. So now, they were gonna bring me some firewood, but that didn't happen, so. I guess I am going without a fire. So, grab card on, go inside. We get going with our leftovers. Okay. So, we got our Enough overalls from last night. Some burgers. Oh, smell good. And some barbecue peach bourbon. Sausage. And some beans maybe. I don't know. I don't know what I have. That way, 
today I'll probably want a snack later on I will have plenty normally why I only cook my burger about three quarters maybe of the way it's done because if I want to reheat them for a meal I don't want them hard like a hockey puck Oh, good morning, good morning. So we are already all packed up. The only thing that I have left is to unplug the power and get that off, which might not be a whole lot of fun. Okay, not that bad. I want to get a better one, but for now, it works. So I picked that up before I came here. Not a promotion, but the power watch jog. Um, power on, it's pretty simple. And my, my breakdown really is not all that involved, not hard. I wanna keep it simple and get a tote for your stinky slinky and get one of these i'll put a link down below to all that i bought so for it being my first time um it has actually gone really well I am a woodworker and uh, I got glue and a clock and epoxy on my clothes. And they do not come out. So, we're gonna get going. My, my whole breakdown takes maybe 25 minutes max. Um, not long at all. So. Okay, so water, power, slide. Tracks, tracks. So now I'm gonna back up and get hooked up, pull up my steps, and we will be on the road. Okay, so I'm gonna go around and do one more check. Clearly, that's gotta go up. That is why you double check. Don't be in a hurry, just relax. If you're going home, your house ain't going nowhere, 
if you're going to another RV park, the RV park ain't going anywhere. So just relax, take your time, make sure that everything is buttoned up so you don't screw up and make a great trip a bad one. One more and we're on the road, all right? Ready, let's do it. 